Hey guys, I thought I'd just do a quick video. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video in about three weeks. I've um, just been busy at work. But as you can see on the rocks, uh, last time I did a video, I had a massive amount of bubble algae. Uh, still a couple of pieces all around it, but technically everything is gone. That is due to two emerald crabs. Let's see if I can find one of the emerald crabs. Uh, there you go. He's just there. Uh, the other one is hiding. But yeah, they're doing a really good job. And I also got two new fish. I got uh, two Bangai Cardinals. They're doing really, really well. Uh, there is my Pajama Cardinal. And the other one is around somewhere. And there's Colin, the Coral Beauty. He's absolutely a fantastic fish. He doesn't touch any of the corals for an angel, dwarf angel. I'm very, very surprised. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I got the man flu. Now we'll go over to the corals. As you can see, the uh, little zoas are doing okay. There they are. There. And this is my new one. It is a toxic lime brain coral. Uh, beautiful on the blues. He pops like crazy. But as you can see now, guys, my corals here have actually grown humongous in size. They've got spread a load of heads. So they're doing really, really well. My Blasamusa, he's doing really, really well. My Duncan coral, he's grown huge as well. And... At the back is my Montipora. Here's my other Blaster Musa. So they're yeah, all doing really, really well. And my neon green hairy mushroom, he's actually split in two now. So there's two heads, two corals. My neon green candy cane, he's doing okay. Um, I did have a top of air, I did have an SPS, but um, this little chit here, Sid, he actually knocked it. Absolutely huge uh, fish. It's doing really, really well. So I fried a little piece there, and there's a little piece just there. Right, the only thing else I've got on here now is I've got two of these, my dark fish, but they always hide. So there you go, he's just hid. And in just there, I've got a sand sifting starfish. So he's in there. But new fish, I have my magnificent fuck face. Uh, he's absolutely fantastic fish. When I first bought him, uh, he wouldn't eat. He only eat the garlic or nori. But now when I feed them, they, he just goes absolutely nuts. But when I first put the fox face in, as uh, Sid, the time was quite aggressive. But there you go, he's just come out. So he's doing really, really well. Uh, for my Ras, Ollie, he's still there, he's still doing really, really strong. Uh, the clownfish are still here. They're doing really, really well. I still have my four you know, uh, green damsels, they're doing well. But as you can see on the side of the tank, the wave maker's gone. And you can see on this side, the other wave maker's gone. Because I bought this. Now, this is Jayco or Jaybo uh, CB40. This thing's an absolute beast. <coughs> Sorry absolute beast um, at the minute I've only got this on on two because if I put it on full power it just it just rips the sand off um, I still have a little bit bads of uh, diatons 
But I think this is what it is when I put the live sand in. I don't think it's in my live sand. I think I'm due to change my my filter and my carbon and my um, filter sock, not filter sock, one of the two on my RO machine. So I think it's getting a bit of silic silicates in the water. So I think that's what's what's happening there. So I'm going to get some new ones. Uh, cartridges for my RO unit and see how that goes um, but yeah this thing it's a beast so I've got that uh, the power unit I'll show you now this is the power unit so I've got it on waves and I've got it on number two but as you can see it's doing, it's doing excellent. I rate this machine. I think I should have bought the uh, smaller version because it's a little bit too uh, powerful. But also as well, I've got this. This is for hiding my um, my auto top up unit. It was a complete eyesore, which I'll show you now. I got this from the range, 10 quid, bonus. Bargain. So basically, it hides my bucket. Uh, this is my bag of my filter foss, and then behind there, I've got uh, a bubbler. So when I do micro bubbling, um, as you see, this is a 10 liter bucket of uh, water, and it's full. The pump is in there. Uh, this um, ATO is absolutely fantastic. I use roughly about three liters a week, so that's not too bad of operation. So I'm doing okay. At the minute, the tank's a little bit cloudy because I just give it a 40% water change today. But you can see the rocks are doing well. The uh, coralline algae is growing. The coralline growing all over the back of the walls of the tank. But I had to give it a scrub because it was just proper manky. So yeah, so this is the tank. Now I'll quickly show you what's happening with the sump and how things are going with like down there right now since I've uh, fitted the new wave maker I've turned it down to if you can focus is on number eight um, also this is my Senai reef it tests for ammonia and pH <coughs> so it's doing really really well this is my products. I've got uh, Fritz 9, uh, Fritz Turbo uh, Cleaner Glass. Uh, that's copper, which I don't really want to use that, but I've got it if I need it for white spot. Is my Coral X. And Ocean Food Reef Chili for the corals. I feed them at night. Also got Marine Flakes, uh, Life Spectrum and my salifer all in one i'm dosing this a little bit more now i used to dose this once a week but i'm dosing it tw probably twice a week now because i've obviously the more corals in that they're absorbing the alkalinity and the calcium so i'm dosing 20 mils uh, twice a week uh, as you can see with the skimmer it's actually finally doing its job. That's a lovely dark skim. That is probably about two days worth of skim, mate. So this skimmer is doing fantastic. I can knock this at all. All right, there's just one more piece of equipment I want to show you guys, and then I will love you and leave you. All right, guys, this is the last piece of my kit that I've got. This is from Hammer. It's a Hannah checker. Now, I used to do it with the API, test me alkalinity, but this is absolutely a piece of kit. So basically, I tap that once, it tells me, it checks it like it's ever done it once. Then it asks me to put the vial in the water for my tank, and press it again. Then it says C2, and then I add the reagent. And it gives me my calcium, it gives me my alkalinity. Um, unfortunately, these kits are not cheap. 
I paid about £70 for this, but it's excellent for what I need it for. Anyway, guys, this is just a quick video just to let you know how the tank is going. I'm really sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I've just been super busy as I am a chef and I'm working over the Christmas period. This is the only day I've got off. So if you like this, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Anyway, guys, if I don't hear from you now or see from you now, have a good Christmas and a happy new year. And I'll see you in the new year in January 2020. Cheers. Bye.